gonna see how good this works right now. I don't know what's Okay, welcome to my car. I don't really know if this is legal. I really don't. Technically, my phone's not in my hand. And if a police officer tries to pull me over, then I'm just, I'm running. Okay, let's talk about something less depressing. This car was a surprise. Basically, I didn't really um, expect to be getting this car. Oh, you're tilting. You're tilting a lot. You know what? We're just gonna stop when we're talking. I tried to do like an Emma Chamberlain thing, like where I drive and talk, but it just wasn't, it wasn't working out. I did not know I was getting a car. I thought that I was going to a gender reveal for my uncle and then they lifted up the garage and I thought it was gonna be like, you know, some like geeky kind of like, oh, it's gonna be a boy or a girl. Like I was gonna see blue balloons or pink balloons, but, and the garage starts lifting and then the car was there. And it took a second from like, it's a click for me. I was like, I thought it was just the garage. I was like, okay, like someone just opened the garage. But then I was like, oh shit, like this car wasn't here before. Then I wasn't able to drive it until like five days, which was literally the worst five days of my entire life. To get a car and then not be able to drive it is like, so annoying i needed to get the car transferred to my name and get insurance and guys insurance is so freaking high it's not even it's not even okay i'm actually suing i don't know why guys insurance is so much higher than girls insurance because i've heard so much of this gender equality thing supposedly guys are more dangerous on the road than girls and i think that's that pisses me off so much like all of i have a lot of friend girls and they all suck at driving. They all do. <gasps> Don't want to talk. They all suck at driving and my insurance is higher. I remember my ex-girlfriend told me that her insurance was literally $96 a month. My insurance when I put in the quote was a whopping $333, something crazy like that. So I was kind of just shook. I ended up finding really cheap insurance so it's not that much money. It's still a lot of money. It's still more than girls, so it's really not fair. How do I feel about having a car? I could go anywhere I want, like, whenever I want to, you know? Because, like, I'm the one driving. I don't have to, like, ask my mom to drive. At the same time, it's kind of, like, super, super, super annoying because everyone asks me for a ride all the time. It's like I'm, I'm the new Uber, and I'm not really getting paid for it, and it's ticking me off. They, people ask me for rides every day now, and it's like, oh, my God, where are your parents? I'm not your Uber. But I got a car just in time for school being out. I passed all of my classes. I mean, just a round of applause for that. I did not fail one class. Still haven't failed a class in my whole entire life. Um, School is so hard. I just, I, just, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I've came out of my depression, kind of. Sorry that I've been gone for a while my pet peeve for youtubers is not being consistent and like uploading a funny youtuber is antonio garza but he does not upload he she i don't know nobody knows i kind of feel like a hypocrite for not uploading trust me when i say this summer i'm i'm gonna get famous this summer like but i'm already famous you guys got me to 400 subscribers bro and i was sick like when i tell you i was sick Somebody texted me on Instagram and they were like, uh, when are you gonna upload again? Like, I want you to play hide and seek with your dog, which I am gonna play hide and seek with my dog today. I thought people thought that was actually like crazy that I did that and they were like, what the fuck is wrong with this kid? Some people actually thought it was funny. So I'm gonna do it again today, but somebody texted me on Instagram and they were like, when are you gonna upload, blah, blah. And I responded and they're like, oh my God, you responded. I was like, bro, like, I'm really not that famous. It's 400, not 400K. Wait, I didn't tell you guys, I cut my hair. Um. Yeah, so I did cut my hair. It was, I, I wanted to do it. I was getting it braided, but getting your hair braided all the time, is it's painful. And I was losing like hair. Like whenever I took out my braids, I guess it's normal cause like you lose a certain amount of strands every day. But when I was taking out my braids, it was just my curly hair routine video. My hair was relaxed. 
but it was still curly, you know? And my hair is naturally curly, but when you relax your hair, it makes the curls like stretch out more. It ended up getting kind of dry, so I wouldn't really suggest or maybe like do it once i don't know i chopped it off i just chopped it all off i mean i like it i'm growing it out like i want it to grow out long again but naturally i'm not doing any chemical shit to it again i'm gonna go to crunch so come to crunch with me and we're gonna get these arm gains i mean they're decent don't come for them or anything <laughs> Okay, so I'm kind of dead. Um, I'm gonna go get a protein shake right now. Oh my God, I'm so greasy. There's nothing to eat in my house right now. I'm going to go get a protein shake though. And then I'm going to go get something to eat. Okay, I just had the nastiest fucking protein shake and I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm going to go get food from Panada. It's about to be like $30 for a sandwich and some bread, but healthy lifestyle. I had a request, like I told you guys. So to conclude the video, I'm going to be playing hide and seek with my dog. Hey, Hold on. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. Relax, relax, bro. All right, high five, high five, all right.